Welcome to City Currents, a dialogue about Durango, where you're invited to join in on the conversation. This time, my guest is Turi Nykum, our Parks and Recreation Director. Welcome, Turi. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, Terry, uh, new to Durango, just joined, uh, joined into uh, the team and now a Parks and Recreation Director. Can you talk a little bit about your past of kind of where you've been and what brought you to Durango? Sure. I'm, I'm excited to be here, first of all. Durango is an awesome community. I'm learning a lot about Durango, but um, I came from the city of Fruta, so not too far away. Uh, Western Slope community, a little bit smaller, but not much. Um, very much an outdoor recreation community as well. So, um, yeah, I have a, have a family that's actually still up in Fruta but as we're making the transition down. Gotcha. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited to be here in Durango. So what uh, attracted you to Durango when that Parks and Recreation Director position opened up? I know you were in Fruta for, I think, about 10 or 15 years uh, as a Parks and Recreation Director. So uh, I know we were excited because there had to be something about the position that kind of got your, your eye and your attention of wanting to kind of move from someplace that yeah. you've been pretty stable at. Well, I had been in, in the city of Fruta as a Parks and Recreation Director there. I was on my 15th year there. Gotcha. Um, and I had a lot of great experiences and we did a lot of great things in Fruta, but um, at some point it's time to, to look for greener pastures mm -hmm. and, and things that will challenge you. And there weren't actually too many communities out there that, um, that could replace Fruta, but Durango was one of them. So when the position came open, it, it was definitely something I looked at. Gotcha. So some of your first observations. I know coming in uh, after Kathy, who had a long, awesome, and amazing run here uh, in Durango for 25 years, kind of coming into that uh, has to have its own little bit of challenge. But uh, what are some of the challenges that you're you're facing that kind of get you excited? Yeah. Well, Kathy did a lot of great things, and and living um, up to her, I, I'm not sure I can, but I, I'm definitely going to um, forge my own path mm -hmm. here in, in in the city of Durango. Um, some challenges or, or just observations um, coming into Durango. Definitely a very engaged community. Mm -hmm. um, finding that out um, quickly. A lot of people have been reaching out to me wanting to talk about various issues and, and sharing their thoughts and, and opinions about parks and recreation. Um, so yeah, that, that's great. I love that. I love talking to the community and, 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 and things like that. So. Gotcha. So, you know, one of the things about being a parks and recreation director is really the ability to change the community in a physically active way. So kind of throughout your career, is there a project that uh, that you were a part of, that you accomplished, that you led, that really kind of holds dear to you and kind of talks a little bit about your love for parks and recreation? Well, um, while at the city of Fruta, it kind of had a, a very similar path to the city of Durango. Mm -hmm. um, when I was at Fruta, we, we had quite a few projects. The, the biggest project that I was involved with was the Community Recreation Center in Fruta. And that was a 55,000 square foot recreation center. So that one definitely is dear to my heart. Um, but then also a lot of trail projects and the partnerships that we built up in Fruta, um, working with BLM, CPW, um, our local bike um, association, um, to build trail, not only soft surface trail, but hard surface trail through the community. Um, so those are some of the, the, the projects and, and things that I find um, were very satisfying. The other thing was just building community in the city of Fruta. Um, through our special events, through our programs, all that kind of stuff. Bringing people together and getting them active is one of the things I find most rewarding. Absolutely. Well, I, I know a lot of those things and those experiences are really what attracted uh, your your candidacy for this position. So we're really excited to, to have you on the executive team and uh, leading our Parks and Recreation Department. So I'd like to always end the segment with just something a little bit personal about you that kind of helps uh, staff and uh, citizens out there uh, in regards to getting to know more about Turi, and it kind of goes to, so what is your favorite genre of music? So when you're running the trails, maybe on that mountain bike, maybe, uh, you know, uh, just listening or driving to work, what's kind of the music that you like to listen to? Well, uh, I'm an 80s guy. Gotcha. I graduated high school in 85, so I, I kind of harken back to those days, but uh, um, everything from the smithereens to the smiths to 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 whatever um, came out of the 80s but i do like a lot of other things that i'm um, are out there right now there's a, um, a pandora channel called hipster cocktail hour that i just love listening to it's kind of um, nathaniel rateliff and, and the night sweats that kind of genre of music i love as well awesome so. well thank you very much terry for stopping yeah. by again welcome to durango we're very excited to have you on staff and uh, looking for some Great things to come out of the Parks and Recreation Department under your leadership. Thank so appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, thank you for having me. 
Remember, this is a program where we want your input and questions. You can call in with your comments, show topic suggestions, and questions at 970-375-5091 or send us an email at citycurrents at durangogov.org. Be sure to join us next month for another edition of City Currents. Thank you for watching.